You're welcome. Let's uh, go to a first discussion tonight on Politics HQ. Uh, today, November 1, 2023, uh, the NLC president, Joe Ajero, was arrested by security forces in Emo State. Now, the NLC has alleged that Joe Ajero's arrest is or was politically motivated and an attempt, they say, to intimidate the labor union. Well, the Emo State government has come out to deny these allegations and has said that Mr. Jero was arrested for breaking the law. This evening, we will discuss the circumstances surrounding Mr. Joe Jero's arrest, the implications of his arrest for labor relations in Nigeria, the NLC's planned nationwide strike uh, in response to that arrest, uh, and, of course, the Emo State government's response to the NLC's allegations. I have uh, on the line tonight as guest uh, on this discussion, Austin Chilaku, who is the Special Advisor on Labor Matters to the Governor of Emo State. Austin Chilapo, thank you so very kindly for your time. It's my pleasure. pleasure. Um, what's your response to this news of the arrest of the NLC president, the president of the Nigeria Labor Congress, uh, Comrade Georgero, in your state, Emo State? Yeah, thank you very much, my dear brother. You see, the most place, I have to state uh, categorically that. Uh, Emo state government have no hand in that arrest. That no hands will say ever the government is the law abiding, the law abiding government. If you must have uh, heard about the police statement, police have issued a statement and have narrated exactly what happened. There was no way it concise the government of Emo state. Uh, what happened was that, uh, to the best of our knowledge as government, on uh, Friday, the 27th day of October, the National Industrial Court sitting in a way on suit number NICNOW last 41 last week 23. In this ruling, part the Nigerian Labor Congress from, uh, from holding uh, the intended rally in a way. And then they rescheduled to the 3rd of uh, November, when they will look into the matter again. When this matter came up, the NAC chapter in Imo State issued a press statement, addressed a press conference, that as law-abiding citizens, that they are out of that, that they are not uh, participating in any rally, because they obey the law, they are Nigerians who believe what uh, the rule of law is. They say they are not participating and advise every worker to please remain in your workplaces and move around their normal business. The chairman, uh, uh, Reverend Wansi, and the team addressed the press conferences. And uh, well, personally, I was surprised the, the Abuja people still came to worry. And they, since they came to worry, everybody was on his normal business. And uh, that's the, 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 what we know about what happened. Government of the most dead. Have no hands whatsoever. After all, previously, you have used to be managed by industrial unions. Either you protest, either you for happiness, either for all this. There has never been any harassment, there has never been any intimidation. And the Timo State government can never start it with this one. They are not part of it and can never be part of it. They have no hands at all. All right. Um, uh, the National Industrial Court, uh, 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 you're saying, Austin Chilakbu, um, uh, Give an order barring labor, organized labor, from, from going on a protest in Imo State. Tell us more about that order. What led to, to that order? Thank you very much. There was this allegation from labor that the Imo State government was owing 20 months salary arrears to the workers of Imo State. And also accusing the governor, government of Imo State of not heeding to the agreement of 9th of February 2021. And we said, no, the government of Imo State is paying worker salaries at, at when due and is not owing any worker in Imo State 20 months arrears of salary. The agreement they were talking about was agreement of 9th. February 2021, I was the chairman of the NSC in Imo State then. 
I was the German. I was with the national officers when they came. When they came, they entered into a meeting with government and never allowed any of the state officers of the Nigerian Labour Congress, in the chapter, to be part of that meeting. As the chairman, I was supposed to be there. As the secretary, I was supposed to be there. They entered into that agreement before, because before the time they came, Imos, the workers of Imo State were on strike. They came, entered into agreement with government, and called up the strike. In that agreement, the first sentence in agreement was that we are commending the governor of Imo State, the single senator Hope Uzabemma, for paying salaries of workers and pensioners from as at Mendu, irrespective of uh, the current uh, situation of things in the country as at that time. They commended the governor for paying salaries on time. The only clause they added there was that the government should continue to ensure that government labor committee continue to meet from time to time to take care of any outstanding issues or any issue that must, must arise. As I'm talking to you, it baffles the government. How a leaders that come to Imo State and enter into an agreement and commend the government that government is paying as I've named you, I can come up now to say that the government is owing 21 areas of salary. That is why the thing becomes confusing, which is not true. Is the government of Imo State, Imo State owing a, a salary arrears at all? Sorry? Is the government of Imo State owing workers at all? At all. At, at, at Monday, workers of Imo State have started receiving their October salary. They are not owing. They are not owing. If they can bring any worker, yes, the other time on Friday I was on air channels. I would draw one of my brothers in the next day. We say, if you have a list of people that, let me, let me give you an example. As the chairman of NSC, because I was the chairman of NSC for two terms, 2015 was my first time that ended in 2019, and 2019 I was re elected as the chairman. In, 20, uh, in 2016, there was a problem like that with the then government here. When some workers were sacked in Imo State, what do we do? We were able to collect all the names of those workers that were sacked, presented it to the then leadership of labor in Abuja. They came here, confirmed it, and made government. It was clear. When you brought out those people, the names were there, you had them in black and white. And physically, the workers who were sacked were physically present. That was why when Abuja came, that's the leadership of the Nancy from Abuja, came to where it. The whole workers that were old were there. And we were able to fight and bring them back. This time around, they came to a wedding. As of yesterday, they made, as I had, there was none of those single workers that were there. So who were those who were part of the protest today? Protest today? I don't know. I was not there now. I didn't see any protest. I didn't see any protest. I was in my office working. I didn't see any protest. Okay, uh, uh, Austin Chilaku, do you believe the arrest of, um, I mean, you've, you've told yourself you're former chairman of the uh, Nigeria Labor Congress in Imo State, and now you are special assistant to the governor on uh, labor matters. Do you believe that Ajero's arrest is justified in, for any reason whatsoever? As I'm talking to you, I, I don't know about the arrest. I'm yet even to confirm that he's arrested. So I can't talk about the justification because I'm not sure of, I don't know. I don't know. I think as the police, police are issuing a statement on that regard. I don't know anything about it. I was in my office, I was working. So after I'm the saying, office, as a former office. labor leader, do you feel this is the way, uh, you know, a matter like this should be handled? Just your personal opinion. Handle, you mean the uh, issue of labor that yes, you handle? Yes, by arresting the national chairman of, pre of, of the NLC. You're talking about it. I said I don't know about that. Whether there was that, I don't know. Okay. Maybe after this thing, I will, I will, I will know that one to confirm. But what I'm trying to say you, tell you is that there are approaches you follow on issues, and then it becomes rational. Even somebody that is accused of you are doing this or do that, you are free also to air your views. So I told you that time, the president of NLC that time was Ayuba Waba. When I was the NSC chairman, there was issues of this nature in 2016. 
Ayuba visited Owere, met the government with the list. He started playing the truth before this. You can't hear that people are old. You just jump in like that and begin to, you know, cause a, 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 a problem. No. The thing there is that Imo State government is not OE. And if you say Imo State government is OE, bleed through evidence, proof, and prove it beyond reasonable doubt that they are OE distrust and so people. Anybody can come up to claim that you are a staff of government. And the evidence is proof to show that you are a worker with government. If you see that these soldiers, some people, or you hear, are owned by government, what you do is to carry out investigation. And start them very well whether those people are workers. Are they workers? Are they actually owned? Before you now know what they're going to do. Now, government says we are not owing anybody any cover. Okay. What okay. else you need to say that this work in other countries? I wonder who those uh, w w workers were who received George Gerard at the airport yesterday uh, singing Solidarity Forever, Luta Continua, Victoria, etc. And, but we've seen pictures, we'll come back to the reasons for the strike and whether there was an agreement or not. But we've seen the pictures and videos of uh, 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 Joe Ajero with um, a swollen right eye after he uh, was let go from police custody or arrest or whatever you want to call it. And um, the video, if you can just put it out on the screen now, you'd see his eye. Uh, either his left or right. It looks left here, but I'm told it's his right eye. Uh, it's swollen. And he said tonight that um, he was brutalized by the Nigeria police force. And now we're hearing he's been rushed to the Federal Medical Center in Oweri. Um, that's the brutalized president of the Nigeria Labor Congress. He's been rushed to the Federal Medical Center in Oweri. You can see him on his way there. Um, the head of Information at NLC, Head of Information and Publicity, Comrade Benson Opa, described what happened to Ajero as an act of abduction that degenerated into an attempted murder. All right, this is what he said, quote, contact has been made with Co Congress President Comrade Joe Ajero this evening around 15.30 hours at the police hospital in Oweri from where he was taken to the Federal Medical Center Oweri where he's receiving medical treatment. Thoroughly brutalized his right eye at the time of contact was completely shot. Further, he said, Ajero, who said little, uh, stated that immediately after his arrest, he was beaten up and blindfolded and taken to an unknown destination where more brutalization took place, sometimes with bottles. His phones, money, and other personal effects were taken off him and have not uh, been returned. Um, sir, is this how the president of the NLC, in your opinion, should be treated? Do you condemn such a brutalization? I mean, it looks like he was in a fight with uh, Francis Ng Ngano there. Well, you see, if what you are saying is true, like I told you, I have not had it. I don't think it's, it's good. But how does he concern government? Like you have heard me point out that police said they did this or did that. How does he concern government? That is the area we are talking about. So does, uh, does, uh, are, you, are you condemning the the um, you know, brutality, the brutalization, the, the harassment of, of, of this man, beating up of this man? From whose people? From? I'm not telling you where. I'm saying, are you, are you condemning the act of brutality committed or meted out against this man or on this man? Because we can see, I mean, shown on our screen, uh, his right eye is swollen. From people? By the police. I was asking if, if you, you condemn such an act of brutality against the president. I told you, sir, as you said, such an act from the police. I said I condemn it from the police to his entire. I condemn it. 
This is says from the police, I condemn it. All right. Um, the NLC has said that one of the reasons they were going on this um, protest, which they call Occupy Imo, uh, was the refusal of the government of Imo State to implement previous agreements reached between the government and trade union, especially that of 9th of January 2021, reached between the government of Imo and organized labor. What agreement was reached on the 9th of January 2021 between the organized labor and uh, the government of Imo State. Well, that is what I was, I was even talking about this. I said, 9th January 2021, I was the sitting chairman of Nigerian Debor Congress. And the, the rule has been that if NLC national come into a state to solve a problem, after negotiations and agreements enter, the state chairman of the NAC in that state and the state secretary of the NAC in that state will append their signatures in such agreement because they are the people who will see to its implementation and then put up a report on the level the implementation has gone to the headquarters. Whether it is being implemented or not, there are the people now that will report back. That agreement of uh, 9th of January 2021, I was physically present. The secretary of IMO was physically present. The people came from Abuja, went to the government, wrote agreement, signed by themselves, and went away. When they wrote agreement without the input of the state, without the signing, said, look at it, I stopped binding on them. That is why, personally, as the chairman then, I'm no longer the chairman now. I don't think I have a hand in that one. Whatever agreement you sign, you can't find out. Any agreement you sign in any state. What about... The chairman of the what, what about... Yeah, Austin, what about the vandalization of the NLC state secretariat? The, the NLC is talking about the wanton destruction of NLC uh, state secretariat, and they describe it as a blatant attack on the rights of workers in Imo state. Uh, tell us about that. Why, why, did it, why was the NLC... Security in Imo State uh, uh, vandalized, like they say. When, when was it vandalized? When was it vandalized? That's the question I want to find out. Was it vandalized? You see, when I was the chairman of the NLC, there was a problem in the office, and that was in 2019. Since 2019 to now, NLC have not reacted. So it baffled me now. Then you carry an issue of 2019, which I reported, I didn't act on it, and the other are using it as a, as a problem, as the issue of dispute. I don't think that was, it has been carried away by events. 2019, no, by 2019, I was the chairman. It has another chairman now. Administration have come and gone. The matter is just at the result. There's no other problem in that one. What oh. have they been doing in 2019 now? All right. Um, look, talking about this um, ghost workers that you mentioned, the NLC had um, alleged, so they're saying, that uh, some pensioners, where approximately 10,000 of them, uh, were wrongly labeled as ghost workers. 10,000 of them were wrongly labeled as ghost workers. And they're also talking about those who are still in the state civil service uh, being also described as ghost workers, about 11,000 hardworking individuals you know, that they are not ghost workers, they are currently human beings, you can see them, and they are government workers, civil servants. Okay, on the, on the 1st of May, 2023, that day is Workers' Day throughout the, throughout the country and other parts of the world. Emo workers celebrated their May Day at Indubisicalo Square, former Euro square. All the industrial unions were physically present. The governor of Imo State, His Excellency Distinguished Senator Obuza Demba, was physically present. Imo workers unanimously conferred him on a, 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 a special award for being worker friendly governor. No, but, 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 no, we want you to. To address the particular issue of 
where of the 11,000 workers who have now been declared as ghost workers? Do you believe that 11,000 workers are made ghost workers? And the same workers will turn back to say, we are giving you an award as the best work, best workers friendly governor in the most state. That, you know, that's the point. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Austin Chilaku, uh, we sincerely appreciate your time. And uh, we will still rely on you for more of this analysis as the uh, developments unfold right there in Imo State. He is the Imo State, uh, the special advisor on labor matters to the governor of Imo State. Austin, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.